In this hands-on video, I'm going to show you how you can use a setup like this to create overhead video shots like this, which are great for product unboxings and things of that nature. And then to basically use that same setup to pull off interview shots like this. Uh, so the really cool thing about this rig, this overhead camera rig, is that it is super flexible. And if you have the right tools, you can really do some cool things with it. So let me show you how it's done. All right, now to preface this, I wanna say that you can find all the parts used to create this setup down in the description. You can find the link to 9to5toys for the full article as well. But here is my overhead camera rig setup, folks, and it really is fairly simple to create. Basically, just a couple of C-stands. Here is one of the C-stands here with a sandbag, of course. And then between those two C-stands is a six foot, five eighth inch rod, which allows me to mount pretty much anything, including cameras, lights, whatever. So you can see that grip head at the top of the C-stand. So you will need a grip head on top of your C-stand. That grip head connects the 5 8 inch six foot rod that goes all the way across over here to the other C-stand with grip head. And we'll just show you that other side there. So you can see, and these are obviously very tightly uh, secured here. So we're good to go there. All right, let's go down here and let me just show you the opposite side. So basically similar setup on the other side, you get a sandbag there with that C-stand secure in place. So that's gonna give it a pretty good amount of stability. Um, you can of course raise or lower the C-stands to meet your particular height requirements. But the bottom line is that this is a super flexible setup. Now you can see I do have another grip arm connected to that 5 8 inch rod and that grip arm allows me to mount a flag right above the camera, which blocks out any reflections from reflective surfaces. So it's perfect for shooting a foam screen, for instance. Now here connected to the 5 8 inch six foot rod, you have a couple of rapid adapters which fit on that 5 8 inch rod and secure in the place with the thumb screw. And then these rapid adapters allow you to then connect other accessories using quarter 20 mounts. So you can see here with the camera, I have a rapid connect adapter from Manfrotto, and that could allow me just to connect directly to the camera. I do have a ball head between the camera and the rapid connect adapter, but that's not necessary. I just like that ball head for extra flexibility. But uh, again, you can see how easy it is to mount your camera. In this case, the camera is an a7 III from Sony. Um, and I'm just using a kit lens, a 28 to 70 millimeter, 3.5 to 5.6 kit lens, which is perfect for this particular setup. I don't need a really fast lens for this setup. And you can see that other rapid adapter is connected to a Camvate monitor arm, and that monitor arm is in turn connected to a best view monitor, which is super cheap on Amazon. So that is almost the full setup, folks. You can see right there, it's a super simple setup. Of course, you're gonna need lighting and all that. And speaking of lighting, I have another light mounted with an impact super clamp. And this light right here is from Newware. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, super cheap light. Basically, I'm using that as, as a uh, just an accent light or also as a hair light in case of interview situations. And I'll show you the interview setup here in just a second. That's the nice thing about this is that it's flexible. You can use it for interviews. You can use it for overhead shots, whatever. And the really cool thing is this, this desk here, and this comes from Uplift Desk. We've reviewed it on 9 to 5 Mac before, but the nice thing about that desk is that it's on caster, so it can roll out of the way, and you're able to quickly raise it or lower it as needed. So the nice thing, like I said, that just slides out of the way, and now you're getting ready for your interview setup. I have that background from Wayfair that I got, and uh, that background looks really nice in sort of like an interview style setup but you can see you have plenty of clearance for this particular desk, I think about four foot of clearance or so, right between those two C stands. So a lot of clearance, not a ton, but enough for a simple overhead setup or for a simple single chair interview. And this, like I said, this is from Wayfair, this little backdrop, I think I got this for like a hundred or so bucks. Um, that just kind of spices up the background. And also this light from, I think it's Luxley, yeah, the Luxley Timpani, and this is an RGBAW light which gives you color like that. 
So you have all sorts of colors that you can instantly dial in and that looks amazing in an interview sort of setup here. And you can use it for all sorts of other things, but let me just show you how this all works now. So I have my a7 III when I turn it on and I also have the best view monitor that's connected via HDMI that's powered by a Sony MPF battery. And this best view monitor is excellent because it's cheap and it's large and it accepts a 4K signal, a 4K input signal. It's a, uh, a little bit higher than 1080p resolution, I think 1920 by 1200. But there you go. So that is mounted in a way that I can view it directly without having to strain my neck up towards the camera. And you can see perfect for unboxings, perfect for overhead camera shots, just like that. And again, you're able to look straight forward without having to strain your neck and see exactly what's happening in frame. So here's a look at some footage that I shot with that overhead setup and you can see it looks absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, I love it. I, I think it's gonna be a super big help for my workflow when it comes to unboxings and things of that nature. It's super, super helpful. But now let's talk about the other thing I really like about this setup and that is that it's super flexible. So I have that hair light, I guess you could say, mounted on the overhead pole. It almost works like a truss, which is great for a sort of interview-like setups. So you see that background from Wayfair and that RGB light really does make it all make it sort of pop. Of course, your lighting is going to need to be adjusted. I'm not great with lighting, as you can see, but I tried. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know. I'm always willing to learn more. So if you're looking to set up an overhead camera rig, hopefully this video will help you out at least a little bit. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with the 9to5Toys.